Hey guys, welcome to another episode of What Can I Fuck Up Today? Let's go over what I'm trying to do. We'll see how this video plays out. I haven't had very much luck lately with um, anything, so. The last video, if you watched it at the garage door, you can see the scratches there. Let me get the right angle. It's not too bad, it's not really that noticeable. Still sucks. Uh, main goal today is going to be putting some uh, Freon in the car. You, you can get those cans with the little hose and the thing that plugs in there. A um, couple issues with that. Fill location is in there. It's kind of in there a little bit. Those lines are a little short, which makes it really difficult. Although they say they can be reused. They're cheaply made, they're made out of plastic, they can't really be reused very much. Those cans that have the little fill thing on there, those cans are like, uh, I don't know, 30 to 50, 60, maybe even $60 for some of them. Not given they're like 20 ounces, but you can just get the little cans like 10 bucks a piece at Walmart. I'm not worried about the leak detection because I already have leak detector in there and I already know where it's leaking from. So what we're doing is a uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, because we haven't disconnected anything, I'm not gonna be pulling a vacuum, although I probably should. When I finally fully fix the AC, I'll pull a vacuum, get all the moisture and air out of there and then uh, refill it. The manifold thing is like, 60 bucks plus you got to get the adapter 70 and so you're looking at i don't know 20 30 bucks with that you're looking at like less than 100 bucks with those little cans with the little thingy on there some of those are like 60 bucks for one can so if you buy two cans that's 120 bucks this is actually cheaper and you get a tool that you get to use in the future so that's kind of neat enough of me talking let's get to work okay Hoods pop. Time to take my 15. Back to work. Ugh. Okay, so I just opened the hood. Um, that was a lot of work. It took me probably about 15, 20 seconds. So I think I'm gonna go take my lunch break now. See ya. So I just got this thing at Harbor Freight. It connects to the battery. I guess it's supposed to tell me if my alternator and my battery's good. And, um, yeah, I didn't read the instructions. It says my alternator's good, so I guess that's good. I've always just used a multimeter, but. It was like four bucks. I figured, what the hell? That might be kind of neat. Okay, uh, I need to get back to working on the AC, I think. Oh well, shit, the box didn't tell me I had to assemble it. I thought it was plug and play. Uh, I better grab my thermometer anyway so I can uh, measure the AC when we fill it. So I got them things hooked up. Maybe it's hooked up correctly, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll find out. Oh no. That broke it. It broke it. Why did you do that? I don't know. Why did you break it? Inside the fuse relay box, I switched out the starter relay. I don't know if that was my issue they had on the last video or not, uh, but it hasn't come back up. Also, the ECS, ECM, ECU, whatever fuse, there was no fuse in there. It was just a wire jumped over. So I went, got the proper fuse, I put a fuse in it, hasn't blown yet. Uh, I've driven the car about 100 miles since, no issues. The check engine light has not come back on, no codes are showing back up. Sounds promising. Next, we just gotta get some AC in there and, um, yeah. So you can see still no check engine light. Uh, that's not a check engine light, that's a door light. Seatbelt light, brake light, because the e-brake's on. Uh, let's see what we're getting out of these vents. does not seem very cold. I don't know how to work this thing. Uh, I should have probably watched some YouTube videos first. Uh, I guess I'm not really going to worry about this high side. Let's open this side. Whoa. 
Okay, I'm reading 90. I don't know, what is this supposed to read? Every time the compressor kicks on, this is going up. These are staying down. So, I don't know, I think I need to do some research on uh, how to do this. If you guys have any tips on what I need to be looking for, post in the comments, any links to videos. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just put some of this in, I guess. Well, the first mistake is I forgot to bleed this. Now I think it's starting to do something. So while I'm here, this is what I'm thinking. I have this, which I purchased for the Sentra like two years ago. And uh, I put the OEM deck in, so this is like almost brand new, so I might put this in the Focus. Just a cheap Pioneer head unit, nothing special. Same thing with this guy. It's a um, monoblock amp, small 250 watt MTX. I think that would be almost perfect to power the factory subwoofer box. Um, which is not a factory subwoofer in there, I found out. So I think I have enough um, parts left over to pretty much hook up the amplifier and I know I got the parts to do the the head unit. Dang trucks again. I should be able to just pull this out and then put the other one in is what my plan is. That is a better unit right here. But I'm just more familiar with the Pioneer. It's simple. Doesn't have all the controls that this one does. I think the Pioneer will just be simpler and easier to work. So anyway, thank you for watching. Aloha. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.